Good morning, good morning, welcome back. We are back with another video. This video is under the Fair Use Act, and the Fair Use Act is in the description box of the video, as well as the About Me section of the platform. The Fair Use Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Please keep in mind that this video and all my videos are allegedly as well as educational purposes only. I wanted to chime in really, really quick this morning. It's another rainy day, and we're just in the season of chaos where I live, so as far as the weather, but we're here. I wanted to share this article with you, and this article is coming from us.com, usmagazine.com, and it's talking about Chloe Kardashian. Now, my thing with this is, I'm going to give you all the dates and you do the math, because I'm wondering what we you know, She's doing there at that age. In the event, Khloe Kardashian recounted shocking detail, shocking Diddy party details, and resurfaced clip. A, a decade old clip from Keeping Up with the Kardashians has resurfaced. Within Khloe Kardashian, seemingly shared details from one of John Diddy Combs parties. A clip, a clip from an episode titled. Secrets of Double Life, hmm. which aired on E! on August 17, 2014, has resurfaced amid Diddy's indictment on charges of ST and racketeering during the episode. Courtney Kardashian asks her sister, so who, was, so who was you with? So who was with you this weekend? Asks after Chloe had spent the weekend partying in Las Vegas. When Chloe replied a bunch of names, my friends, Courtney riddled off a list of names, which included Diddy, his adopted son, Quincy Combs, and rapper French Montana. Now, the funny thing is to me, is like, and I've been saying this for a couple of days, from my research, Quincy goes by the last name of Brown, which is I'll be sure's last name. So, if in fact Diddy did officially adopt Quincy, would his name be Combs? Let's go. So far, so good, Chloe replied, confirming her sister's guess. Later in the episode, Chloe described later in the episode, Chloe described the party she had attended while bowling by bowling with Courtney and their friend. I haven't I haven't been to bed yet. I got on the plane at five thirty AM Chloe Chloe shared Adam. This party I think half the people were bucket naked, allegedly. This is according to Chloe, allegedly. Courtney turned to a to our friend turn Courtney turned to their friend, I don't want to say his name, to ask if she met Chloe's new crew of friends at the party. To which the friend replied, no, well, kinda. Chloe then quickly told her friend to stop talking. Diddy was arrested this month and detained at the, 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 the jail. He has been denied bond two times, but we know that part. So why didn't why didn't Chloe want her friend to continue talking about what went on at the party, guys? Oh boy, if Diddy allowed anything, he could he could definitely cancel himself. These girls do not play when they want to come for you. And I'm not saying she shouldn't if something happened, but I'm just curious as to why. Chloe would not want her friend to talk. Why not allow her friend to share an experience like that? I mean, the monk, French Montana, and Diddy, and whoever else was there. Like, why would it be a secret as to how much fun we had at the party? Unless something happened that shouldn't have been happening, allegedly. <sighs> More and more stuff is coming out. Now, this party took place in 2014. How old is Chloe in 2014? Is the question. And why was she at Diddy's party? Wow. 
Will Chloe end up speaking out about? It's Chloe on the paperwork. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the channel. Love on those that love on you. Again, pray for the world, you know, and just be careful of your surroundings. You know, don't jump the gun for fame or whatever the case, because behind some of them doors, baby, we are looking at it right in front of us, allegedly. Be blessed. Peace.